Hi everyone and welcome to the foyer of LV1, our showroom. Now this is the unit that you've probably seen the most of over the years. Just realised the other day that we haven't actually given you a proper update for probably about 18 months, two years um, of what the premises looks like, what we've changed, what we're doing new um, and yeah just a general walk round and a day in the life of Leighton. So we're going to head upstairs first somewhere that you guys have never seen before. Um, so yeah, let's start up there. Now, before we had LV2, we were doing all of the work out of this unit, which meant the upstairs was predominantly parts storage. So I kid you not, all of this foyer used to be full of parts. All of the little offices that you're gonna see up here were just brimmed with parts. Now we've got LV2, we've got that storage space. And I'm sure if you guys have visited us in the past, well, four or five years, that downstairs office was always a little bit hectic. So what we've done is we've, we've moved a few people upstairs who don't need to be in that main customer facing office just to make the experience a little bit better for you as a customer coming in. It's not as intimidating when you go in and there's 10 people sat behind desks just all squirreling away working. So it's a lot nicer environment. That in turn, what we've done is we've just started our renovation of upstairs. So we've just made a cool little meeting room through here. They're actually doing a meeting in there. So we'll show you that a little later on. I don't want to interrupt. We've got a couple of little marketing storage um, room just there. We've got my new office along with marketing are in there with me as well. Um, along with Paige, who you guys have spoke to before. I'm not going to show you actually inside the office because there's a load of sample products dotted around that we're doing some testing on that haven't actually been released yet. So I don't want to, don't want to let uh, give you too many hints of what we're up to but this office runs all the way down here. We've got accounts are now upstairs. Again, just makes that downstairs feel a little bit, little bit nicer. And we've got more storage space still up here with the mezzanine, this office down in the end, uh, which is getting made use of. We're gonna turn this one down here, hopefully into a photo studio, a little video studio as well. Um, potentially even, if you, think, if you guys think podcasts are a good idea, if you wanna talk, you want us to get people on from people in the van world, uh, pickup world, or any kind of uh, commercial vehicle world. If you want us to start that, because we've been, we've been toying with the idea, just let us know. If we go out onto here, we've got our mezzanine, which I said LV2 had solved some of our storage issues. It, yes, it had solved some of them, but as you can see, we're still using this mezzanine up here for what are these? These are LVR rear bumpers um yeah we are pretty much at max capacity down at lv2 now which is fun but obviously we can see we've got the view of the showroom still up here off of this mezzanine we've got some of our camper rental stuff for the camper fleet i never get bored of this view We've obviously got Jamie down there taking photos. We have put some new hex lighting um, above the turntable as well, just, be, just to give it a bit more of a modern feel. Um, that seems to be the way that, that people are going with lighting. Looks really cool on photos. You can see the reflection in the windscreen down there. Um, and yeah, we're just, you know, you guys know us, we're just constantly evolving, constantly adding to what we're doing, whether that be adding to the vans or actually adding to the buildings that the vans are made in to make it a nicer experience for all. So we'll head downstairs, we'll have a look at a couple of new things in the showroom, um, and then we'll head down to LV2 and see what's going on down there. So the detailing bays are still where they were, they're still at the back of the showroom at LV1. So we've got two sold vans in here just having the final detailing. There's a couple getting there pre-washed outside, ready for coming in. We've got all of these vans down here, down this side. Now these are all done and ready for sale. So all these are waiting now is a quick valet and then the images. So just a tidy up, uh, good enough for photos. And that's what Jamie's working through now. So he's got a, he's got a proper job on his hands by doing the full photos video for advertising. And he's got one, two, three, he's got six to do after this. And there was constantly more coming down from the showroom, getting valeted, ready for photos. So pretty much as soon as Jamie takes one of these out, there'll be another one to replace it. So we have got plenty of stock at the minute. If we have a look, obviously we've got the showroom space over this side. Straight away, we've got a couple of new things over that side. We've got obviously the Amarok sat in the middle. Um, 
you know, you guys have seen, uh, been teased some of the stuff that we're doing with the Amarox. That is growing massively uh, and we're constantly evolving the offering for the Amarox and the Rangers. Um, but we're also, we're still constantly, you know, changing the offering or updating the offering for the transport. As you can see here, we've got, uh, we've actually got two fully wrapped vans. So that's exterior door shut. So that all the doors come off and get, uh, and the door shuts get wrapped so that the, the color flow is seamless throughout the van. The black one that we've got there, the satin black one, we've actually done a one-off wheel color on that. So we've sent a set of our, um, set of our LV2s off for a refurb in a rose gold, um, which we think looks really cool on the matte black, along with matching rose gold strips across the front through the splitter. Um, and we've also got the cool little um, sort of hex pattern on the wrap in the badge and on the wing mirrors. So like I say, we don't show you guys enough of this, but we're constantly updating what we're doing to the vans, um, the vans that we've got around us, obviously, until the new VW comes out. Um, and then we've got a nice satin red on the end, EBC big brake kit, standard wheel color. But again, all door shuts, so that that color is seamless throughout. So it almost looks like it's come out of the factory in that color. And we only use the best, uh, the best wrapping companies. Wrapping companies we've used plenty of times in the past. We know their quality um, and they do a really, really good job of those. So we're gonna go through the back door and we're gonna, we're gonna surprise everyone in the office and see if they're working. So we've got a couple of empty offices down here. A couch used to be in there. We've now, we've moved we've pushed Jimmy into there, the sales manager, so that he's got some quiet along with his admin team, which again, just makes this office in here just a little less intimidating, a little less hectic. So we've got the sales guys in here now. We've got Cameron, Paige from Upgrades and Parts. We've got Katie and Josh from Leasing, all those customer facing people that need to be down here. But it's not too intimidating now. It's a little, there's a little breathing room down here, which no doubt we will be filling very soon. Just have a quick walk in the yard. It is absolutely horrible today in Rotherham. Whoa. But as you can see, we've got plenty of vans. Now, we're, we're taking a gamble and we're buying and buying and buying vans with the run out of the 6.1. So you can see here, we've got a yard full. Now we know very soon, you're not gonna be able to get a 6.1, at least a brand new one anyway. Now we are going to have lots and lots of that stock, all good stock as well. 204, 150, DSG, electric doors, nav LEDs. We have probably got whatever you're after transporter wise. We're going to head down to the workshop now, just show you how many vans we've got down there. Normally I would walk. We're not doing that. It's raining. We're going to drive. So if you guys don't know, our LV2 showroom, I'm sure you do. It is literally just down the industrial estate. So come out of our road, turn, uh, turn left and head straight down to the bottom. But you're gonna see in a second, the sheer amount of vans that I'm talking about. So as we turn left into LV2, we've got that lorry there, which I'm gonna show you a little bit about in a second, but that's a really, really cool little, uh, little project that's going on. Whoa. So we're going to head into LV2 and we're going to see what's going on down here today. As you can see, this is only a really small section of the yard, but there's rangers, there's Amarox, there's transporters dotted around everywhere. And as we head through straight away into the first little storage section of LV2, and this is only small, but this is this is pretty much for sidebars. So we've got every, um, every style and every option of sidebar that you could, you could want. We've got tubular trapezoid, matte black, gloss black. Um, we have got some chrome around us as well. Even though chrome is starting to die down, people are really heading away from chrome now. We've got all the EBC big brake kits, Leighton branded. Obviously we're the exclusive distributor for and retailer for the Transporter EBC big brake kit. So if you want to chat about one of those, come and see us. We've got plenty of stock, um, as you can see. And we've got fitting slots 
pretty regularly now at the minute, to be honest. We've got more storage of our consumables. It's gonna get a bit noisy in here as we head through. So we've come up to start with to the trimming tables. So we've got, uh, we've got Jordan, Will uh, and Loz there prepping the suede panels ready to go into the back of a uh, either a combi or um, a combi conversion. You can see we've got the rolls of carpet. There's no one trimming leather at the minute, but this is where we do all the leather seat retrims on this table. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have seen that before. If anyone wants any standard bumpers, let us know. We've got plenty and there's always plenty. With what we do with the LVR, obviously the LVR bumper is a complete replacement. So we have always got standard bumpers. If your van's been in a smash or it's damaged, we sell these really cheap. So give us a shout. Got a really cool Amarok in. Um, I mean, I say really cool, it, it is just a style. Um, and it's two litre, so it's not even the big V6, but it's in this almost flat British gas blue, which on the Amarok's with the wide arch, the black wheels, laser lights, looks absolutely incredible. Uh, really excited to see that colour done, actually. Something that you guys definitely haven't seen is our brand new CNC machine. So we've invested in this extremely high quality piece of kit just for making the wooden panels uh, for the back of the transporters so as you can see got all the racking at the back with all the with all the panels in it for all the different variants of vans that will be the same for the transit as well obviously we will be making use of that to do the transit interior conversions got plenty going on in conversion today as well we've got a combi conversion there so as you can see that's just had the windows and the seats put in it when that's done, it's all factory VW parts, it will look like a factory combi, unless you know the little trick to be able to tell. What we've got as well is we've got this one. Um, I haven't actually seen this one yet, but wow, that is loud. So that's another wrap that we've had completed, full vehicle wrap. That one is just a stock build that will be going up for sale uh, live on the website. Um, Needs a black badge, but that does look awesome. That is a really cool colour. We've got Davey and the guys in the back of there getting that prepped. All right, boys. Got plenty more storage upstairs. We've got Avanos, we've got steel pods, we've got slide pods, every sort of camping module or combi bed um, that you can wish for is up on that mezzanine there. We go around to the mechanics. I'm going to cover that, it's a transit, we don't want to look at it. Now, as we are, um, as we are a laser light uh, distributor and retailer, this one's in, uh, this transit's in for the laser light grill integration kit, as you can see there. So that's what Matt's on with at the minute. So it's not, it isn't just VWs that we do. I mean, we're going to have to go into Fords with the new van coming out and the Ranger and the Amarok being exactly the same. We are going to go down. Uh, going to have to go down that route, but you know the possibilities are endless. If you've got a, a previous shape transit like this one, you want the laser lights, give us a shout. We'll get them done, no problem. Or any vehicle that requires uh, a laser light integration kit, for that matter. That's one of our returning customers, so he's coming for a service, a, a service, and just update a couple of bits on his van. Um, I think it's having tyres as well. So we do do a lot of service, you know, a lot of servicing for our own customers that have bought a van off us. That's a uh, two, three year old customer, I believe, looking at the reg. Um, and then we've got a stock van being built on the end. Do you want to turn your attention to what's behind Mr. Walker at the minute? We have got wheels. So this, this is normally full with vans. So there's normally vans sat here waiting to go in to mechanics or waiting to go into conversion. We have had um, a lot of, uh, quite a few containers arrive, building our stock up ready for the summer. So this is stock of our alloy wheels. Um, it will be getting sorted out and gone into um, the right storage space when we've, when we've done what I'm gonna show you in a second. 
But yeah, if you want a set of our wheels, we've got plenty. This stuff on the end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on that stuff in a second when we get outside. So a lot of those alloy wheels will be going down into this storage area. We've obviously a, another addition that I don't think you guys will have seen. We've built another mezzanine over the dispatch area. Um, again, just for the, the storage space that we need. Um, so that has got a lot of the 4 before stuff up there. So again, you've got a Ranger, you've got an Amarok, you want to chat about either having the Predator pack or some of the options that we've put on the Amaroks. We've got it in stock. We are building up our stock now, so it should be readily available. And if we stand here a second, out of the rain, so Adam doesn't get water on his lens, We've got pallets there being, uh, again, I'm gonna come on to that in a second, because that is it's a really cool uh, project that's going down. But you, you look at the sheer amount of vans we've got, this front row goes back three vans. Um, so there's two, four, six, eight, 10. So there's at least, I'd probably say there's 35, 40 vans in this yard at the minute. And yesterday it was absolute chaos. Um, so we've actually shipped a load of the vans that were in this yard down to our storage compound, uh, ones that are stock, waiting to be built, etc. Um, got a nice little chrome yellow one down at the end. We've managed to get a couple more of those. Um, first one's landed. That chrome yellow one that we built um, with the, uh, the gloss graphite LV3s and the big brake kit went down an absolute storm. So we've got a couple more. Properly, uh, properly weird colour, but you guys love it, so we bought some more. If we head round, I'm going to show you what the big lorry was for in the in the gateway. Now normally we're unpacking these, not packing them, but we're actually packing this 40 foot container to go out to Australia. So we've already sent one out there, we've loaded another one pretty much straight after it. This has got a lot of the partner products, so the Avanos, um, 40 winks, slide pods, steel pods, but it's also got a load of the Predator gear from uh, 4x4 AT for the Ford Rangers. Now, we know you guys love that stuff out in Australia, especially the 4x4 stuff, which is why we're sending it. But as well, if you've got a transporter out in Australia, you want that Avano, you want that steel pod, you want that slide pod, they're on the way. So keep an eye out, get in touch with uh, Dan in Australia. Um, you can reach him on our socials, the Late in Australia socials. If you want to pre-order any of those bits or you want to find out what's coming in that container then drop him a message and get your parts pre-ordered because that stuff isn't going to last long at all so just touching on those boxes again that i mentioned and all of these in here so all of these boxes that are behind these wheels <clears throat> that's all the four before stuff that we're systematically packing into that container so like i say there's a lot of product on its way to Australia for the vans, for the, uh, for the T6 6.1 transporters and for the new Ford Ranger. So we've got full Predator kits on their way over. We're already signed up with Pedders in Australia um, uh, to supply their suspension, their two inch lift kits for the Rangers and the Amaroks. We're partnered up with laser lights or laser lamps, sorry, should I say in Australia so we can get those. We're also partnered with Frontrunner over in Australia, same as we are in the UK. So what we want to achieve is basically get to a point where whatever we offer in the UK, we can offer out in Australia as well, which has been a bit of a mammoth task compared to say, it's on the complete other end of the world, but we're starting to get there. We're starting to make it work. You guys are starting to buy products off of the website, which can, uh, you know, thank you so much for the support that everyone in Australia has given us. Um, it's been a big, big project, took up, took up a lot of our time, but it's starting to come through now, which is awesome to see. So thank you everyone in Australia who's helped us grow that. And like I say, if you want bits in Australia, check out the Leighton, uh, Leighton Vans Australia socials, drop a message onto there and Dan will get back to you, let you know what's on its way out there, what he's already got over there, and hopefully we can help you kit out your van or your pickup over in Australia. And hopefully I'll be over there again pretty soon and getting some content. So that'd be good. It'd be good to see it now we've got the unit up. So that's just a little impromptu sort of update on where we're at, um, obviously with LV1 and LV2. Lots of stuff happening in both units. We're trying to make L turn LV1 into a much more 
sort of friendly customer facing atmosphere um, and stop it from being so chaotic in that office when you guys walk in. Um, we've got obviously LV2 is just batting vans out of here, left, right and centre. They're really churning through some work now, getting the stock vans ready for you guys um, and ready for when the 6.1 is no more. Um, we have got, there will be a transit buried in here somewhere. Or oh, sorry, should I say new transporter? Um, we're well underway with that. We've already carpet lined one, uh, worked out the dimensions for the panels and everything like that, and worked out all the electrics for the USBs, the touch LED lights. Um, that van itself isn't on site, otherwise I would show it you. That is actually down at EBC um, headquarters down in Northampton. They've uh, I've loaned it to them for a little while. I'm not going to say too much about it, but you guys can guess what's happening with that. Um, but yeah, we're absolutely flying uh, this year. If Christmas is what we're on now. It's 23rd of January. Christmas feels about six months ago. We're well on the way with the, uh, with the transit body kit designs. We're well on the way. We're bringing new product in for the Ranger and the Amarok. That is going to grow massively over the next couple of months. So keep an eye out for that. We've got some really cool stuff in the works. But yeah, basically, if you want any bits, you want any parts, you want to upgrade your van, give us a shout. We've got availability for obviously either sending the bits out to you through our website or by calling up. We've got plenty of space in the workshop for upgrade bookings. So if you want to bring us your van and we'll put the LV treatment to it, by all means. We have got Rangers, um, new transit customs and new transporters available for the 12 month lease. Um, we can get pretty good stock of them at the minute. So if you want to grab one of those for 12 months, get in touch because they're going thick and fast. We've got, as you can see, we've got plenty of vans for sale. Um, we're really bumping our stock up ready for when the 6.1 is no more. So you guys are still going to have a really healthy option to pick from of different colours, specs, four motion, non-four motion, long wheelbase, short wheelbase. So we are going to have lots of transporters around us. So if you want one before you can't get one with no miles on it anymore, please give us a shout. Now is the time to do that. So yeah. Also guys, if any feedback, anything that you guys want to see us do a video on, um, you want to see a little bit more in depth of something that I've touched on today, drop it in the comments. We're open for feedback. We're growing our marketing team as well. We've got somebody new starting in a couple of weeks just because we've got that much content to create and that many van photos to take as you can see down the road. So yeah, just fire any feedback our way. Uh, if you want to see anything in particular, you want to see a talk through video or something, we can get that done for you, no problem. Cheers guys.